Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is all about unorthodox combinations, off rhythm, off beat. Stop throwing your traditional combinations. They're becoming predictable. I'm gonna give you my three favorite ways to make your combinations off rhythm. All right, in today's episode, we're talking about off rhythm combinations, unorthodox style, right? Too many times we're practicing our traditional ones, which is great. We want to have them develop good basics, right? So when I talk about traditional combinations, what are they? We have jab, low kick, one, two, switch kick, one, two, three, round kick. I have cross hook, kick, right? So that's cadence style combinations, left, right, left, right, left, right. Becomes predictable, right? Can you make that more unorthodox? Yes. What I can start doing with these simple combinations, instead of saying all level, I can go head, body, head, Head, right I can start changing levels with my punches and my kicks yes I could advance that but we need to take it one step further we're gonna get better knockouts land a little bit better and it's gonna confuse our opponents so let's break down three different ways that I like to break down my combinations. so I using the word off beat right so when I talk about off beat off rhythm right you'll see boom 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 right I can go one two three four that's all on the same beat one two three four four so I'm gonna try to change that rhythm whether it's one two three four that's a good way to change the rhythm but that's still not enough for me I need it more unorthodox because they can be waiting left right left right left it's easy to block right even though it's off rhythm it is gonna help you but I need to go one step further so number one using my jab your jab is your best setup yeah when everyone sees the jab they're waiting for a rear side attack they're looking for a right low kick they're looking for an overhand a rear straight or a feint to get to the left hook. So for me, my favorite combination off of the left side is using my jab and then setting up my left kick. Now, with the left kick, right, it can be low, middle, high. I can change it up, right? That's the whole point. So I'm popping, boom, and I slap right away. Touch, touch, boom to the liver. Touch, touch, lean back, I can go attack to the head. So I'm moving. I might throw my jab low kick and then go into that combination. Faint with it and go. Now, I like fainting with it because that that's what makes it higher level, especially when I establish it here, and then all of a sudden I might be here, bang, and I could attack that way. Now, if you're more higher level and you want to go to the liver, my favorite way is I'll jab into a hook. Okay, as I jab into a hook, I take a step out here, bang, boom, and I get right under and I smack that liver, okay? So I can jab, jab, touch, jab, create my liver, and you can see that offbeat. It's not one, two, three, it's one, two, three, right? Bump. Bum, bum. Boom, bang, boom, right? Bang, boom, bang, boom, boom, bang, boom, right? Creating that off rhythm, off beat, off combination, but jab, okay? Get that left kick coming, okay? Low, middle, high. If you throw it a couple of times, the level change itself is gonna do damage. You add the off beat, you're stopping your opponent, okay? Number one. Number two now is gonna use my right side. Now, one of the best examples of this recently would be when Leon Edwards beat Kamara Usman. It was a one-two, right? And the two graded a parry. So as he went here, the kick unfolded over on top, right? So it was a right hand, right kick, same style combination. It was offbeat, and that's why you got that big knockout. So my main way for this second one is I like to attack the leg first, right? So and get instead in one, two, three. As soon as this hand comes here, as it's loading, this kick starts to come, right? So this would be the same rhythm, boom, boom, boom. Or now I'm gonna go, right? See that, boom, 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 as soon as it goes. Sometimes I'll even use it as a hook, jab, and a hook and kick at the same time. Boom, boom, right? Boom, that rhythm, bah, bah. okay? Now this one's even better. Say I throw this one first, boom. Matt knows the low kick's coming now, Boom, I go upstairs. Or he exits now, he thinks the low kick. I might even look down, boom, and then come upstairs for my head kick, that offbeat rhythm, okay? Now, even for this one, it might be even different. Say, for example, Matt anticipates it. I want to, and he head kicks, and he gets, and I head kick, he moves out of the way. Boom, oh, now I have to change it up. So my, I'm now gonna add a gallop. So as he exits, I gallop. One, two, gallop, boom. Close my distance, then I threw an attack. So instead of going one, two, three, it went one, two, 
kept a different longer beat to close my rhythm and to close that kick. But same side combinations. One more time, boom, 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 here. Then I'll kick to that, bang, right? He exit out, I might take a little gap, boom, 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 pause, boom, right? Different rhythm, different timing, lets me close my distance down, okay? So that's number two, the rear hand to rear kick, different timing, different tempo. That's probably one of my most favorite there. Now, the third style, is doubling up the same power shot, okay? Usually after you throw a right hand, the left hook comes. The right kick, left hook, right? Kick, punch, so we're gonna change it up a little bit. Now one of my favorite combinations when it comes to double is I can double rear straight. So I can do a double cross, right? I go boom, boom, right? Matt moves back the first, bang, boom, I attack, right? Say he stays there, I'll go cross to uppercut, bang, boom. He, or I might go cross to hook, Bang, boom, right? Doesn't matter, cross, double cross, bang, bang. And then if I feel good, I can add that rear kick, bang, bang, boom, right? Say bang, boom, boom. Changing rhythm, changing sides, changing power. Now I can do that same double tack side with my rear kick. Now everyone, when you talk about kicks, low body, low body, it always starts off a low kick, sets up the body kick, right? Now what I wanna do here is I'm gonna start with the body kick, come down, chop right away. So there's my off rhythm, bing, boom. Or the first one, Matt blocks, boom, with his leg, block, chop, boom, right? That double kick, block, chop, boom. Or I go to the body first, step down, boom. So that's that double, then thinks it, I'll go double rear, chop, boom, chop, boom, bang, chop, boom, right? And then boom, 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 bang. There you go, off rhythm, off combination, mix the same side, alternating side, different rhythm. You see how these unorthodox, unrhythm combinations are gonna start. So, lead hand, boom, left kick, right? Boom, boom, different rhythm, right hand, right kick, and then I wanna double them up, trick them, right? It's not always have to go left, right, left, right. That, to me, is one of the easiest ways to confuse, right? Level changing, number one, adding feints, and then these unbeaten, unorthodox combinations will just help you out, okay? Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you keep liking and subscribing to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Make sure you support our channel by supporting our sponsors. We have first Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, all linked in below, but make sure you check out the T3 boxing line. This double strap has been amazing. You can even see I'm not even wearing wraps because it protects my wrist so well and my knuckles. Then we have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20 gets you 20% off all of your supplements that you need. My personal favorites before these videos and my training, the Alter State pre-workout, branch chains while I'm training, and then I have my protein for my recovery. And last but not least is bazookatraining.com. You know it already. You get online curriculum taught by me for less than $10 a month. You get brand new videos every single week. That includes bag workouts, home workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, and there's now over 350 videos for you to learn from, okay? Less than 10 bucks a month. Head over to bazookatraining.com and we'll see you next time. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, 
and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.